I want to talk to you a little bit about reaching your potential. Honestly, truly going to the highest level that you've ever been in your life. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're talking about fitness, but we're talking about life in general. How many of you are actually comfortable right now? I mean, just take a couple of seconds and think about what I just said. How many of you right now at this moment in your life are comfortable? I want to talk to you about your potential. I come to realize that many people are very much complacent with what they feel is best for them. I don't think there's anything at all wrong with that. The only problem that I see in that is that you become comfortable. You become comfortable with what you're good at. Does that make sense? There are a lot of people that are afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. Everything doesn't necessarily have to be the way it's been written in a book. There's things that you and I can do right now that doesn't even require any kind of textbook information whatsoever. Sometimes things are just naturally there as long as you're willing to apply yourself. If you think about an animal in the jungle, and the animal is doing everything he or she can to survive. They're gonna do exactly what is necessary to do that. The thing about humans is that we're so emotionally driven or we're just stuck in a rut and we feel that if it's too hard, I don't wanna do it. If it makes me work harder than what I need to, I don't wanna do it. That is not the right mindset to have. When you are doing something that you are good at, congratulations. But how long are you going to stay there? How long are you going to continue to celebrate the same victory? How long are you going to just sit back and say, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm the best at. I don't want to do anything. But you're going to have to understand that as long as you're living, you have to continue to evolve. I think people need to open up their minds, their hearts a little bit and realize that you can't stay in the same box. So when it comes to the journey in life, ladies and gentlemen, you have to consider the fact that you cannot stay the same. You cannot remain the same. Sure, you can have certain principles and you can have certain ideas, but you got to get outside of that comfort zone. You got to set your mind up for new horizons because the things that we're dealing with in our lives right now are constantly changing. And if you're not willing to do that, then you're never going to get to the level you really want to be in life. Think about it. You ever heard this saying? People want to feel accomplished. Now, please don't shoot the messenger, but I don't believe in that. I do not believe that you should feel accomplished because what have you accomplished? If you feel accomplished and you've accomplished something, those are two different things. I don't feel that I should feel accomplished. I should be accomplishing something rather than feeling accomplished, okay? Hard work is what gets you to the level you want to get to. When people say easy, not hard work, or when they say learn to work easy and not work hard, I believe that hard work is the best thing to get out of anything you want out of life. So we have to consider the fact that when you want things, you've got to understand the kind of work that comes behind it and sacrifice the things that are necessary to get what you want. Because sometimes what you want is not necessarily what you need. And there's very few young people out there that have that mindset to want to accomplish something in his life. So my point to that is this, ladies and gentlemen, is that anything that you want out of life, you have to make sacrifices. Make sure you're making the right choices. Make sure you're going about your life the right way. But you've got to get uncomfortable. Just because you're not good at something doesn't mean you can't be good at it later. That means you need to work at it. Always, always, and I say this with conviction and with authority, work on your weaknesses, not your strengths. We already know that you can bench press. We already know you can run a marathon. We already know you can swim from here to Texas. We got that, but what's next? We already know you dropped 20 pounds. Why not another 10 if you can, whatever. You already ran a mile, why not run two? You already did 10 push-ups. why not do 12? You understand what I'm saying? You don't stop until the clock stops. I've had people that will do a workout and they'll, the clock is still going and they stop. Or they'll do their reps and then they'll stop but the clock is still going. 
So my point is, if you got two minutes on the clock and you accomplish your goal, don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful experience. When you have done all of your work, but you still got gas in the tank, you don't stop. If the clock is going, you keep going. You understand what I'm saying? So that's where we're at. So you have got to search for your true potential. That's what this message is about, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it's in the business world, whether it's in the fitness world, whether it's in the, in the home, whatever it is that you have going on in your life, don't get complacent. Please, ladies and gentlemen, challenge yourself. Go above and beyond the call of duty. It's not about being an overachiever. It's about achieving greater goals, okay? Don't be an overachiever. Achieve greater goals. When people say, you're just an overachiever. No, I'm a person that goes after my goals and go further. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that I don't believe that the sky's the limit. I'm the type of person I'm going to walk on the moon and leave footprints on it. That's me. That's the kind of mindset that I have, okay? You've got to think like that. Lions are patient. They sit. They wait. And then they go on the hunt. My point is this. You have to have patience, whatever you do in life. You can't rush. You have to be able to go after what you have to go after. And when you go after it, go after it with a full heart. Like the cheetah. The cheetah has about one minute to catch his prey. If he doesn't catch his prey, he's gonna run out of gas and he has to wait because he's in the red. But this is the fastest land animal on earth, right? Cheetahs are very fast. And once they go, they made their they made their mind up, they're gonna go after their prey and they're gonna go after it with a full heart and they're gonna take it out if they can. But they may miss that opportunity. They may have to rest. They may have to sit down and cool down. So I'm saying this to you, ladies and gentlemen, is that you got to be on the hunt. You got to be on the hunt to eat. You got to be on the hunt to grow. You got to be on the hunt to get better. You got to be on the hunt to be better than you was yesterday. You can't stay complacent. You can't be comfortable. You can't say, oh, I want to feel accomplished. No, I don't want to feel accomplished. I want to accomplish, not feel accomplished. I want to get it. I don't want you to hand it to me. I want to earn it so I can re reap the rewards from it. Not sit back and say, oh, look at me, I'm awesome. This is not the time, ladies and gentlemen, to be feeling sorry for yourself. This is not the time to be feeling, whoa, everybody's different. No, we are different, maybe yes and no, but we are all human beings. That is not different. We may be a different color. We may believe in a different religion. We may believe in different uh, ideas or whatever the case is, but we're all human beings. And we are beautiful. And our bodies are designed to be great. Our bodies are designed to move. Our ideas are designed to evolve. We are universal beings. We are not designed to just sit still and do nothing. We are not designed to be comfortable. We are designed to reach greater feats, greater heights. We are designed to go further than we've ever gone in our lives. And this is the time to do it. So ladies and gentlemen, please, Go out today, tomorrow, the next day, and make every moment of your life count. Stop being comfortable. Stop being complacent. Stop complaining. If it hurts, let it hurt a little bit more. Pain is good. I'm not talking about the pain that puts you in a hospital. I'm talking about that good old fashioned pain. I'm talking about that pain that reminds you that, hey, I got work to do. I'm talking about that pain when you fall down and you feel like it's over, but you got the idea and the attitude to get back up and go further. I'm talking about that pain when you feel like you can't go on, but you know that that weakness is trying to stop you and you got the, you got the power and the ability to overcome the weakness and go after the strength that's out there waiting for you. That's who we are. So don't quit on yourself. Don't quit on your ideas. Don't quit on your purpose. Get out there and be productive and conductive.